Um, I'm more than happy to ask questions. One of the nice things about these webinars is uh, you're more than welcome to uh, ask questions, poke fun at, uh, challenge, question, anything you want to do, and uh, we'll do our best to answer uh, answer whatever it is that uh, you want to talk about. So, with that, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and uh, and finish up here. I'll hand the mic back over to Mary and um, and uh, Marlon. Uh, if I didn't bore Marlon to death, um, he he'll be around <laughs> to, to answer answer questions and point out all the things I did wrong here. So hey, <laughs> nice job, Kyle. No, that went together uh, really well. Uh, we Good. have answered a number of questions that have come through. Uh, one of the questions, though, had to do with hot keys. And uh, okay, have you set any hot keys up? The, the question was hotkeys. Um, have I set up any hotkeys? I am a maniacal hotkey here. Anybody who's taken any of my classes, I spend day one doing introductions and talking about hotkeys. Um, it's, it's something that in, on my own machine, on my own production uh, rig, um, I run hotkeys constantly. In fact, most of the time, I would run Rhino and it would look like this because everything that I would do would be in a pop-up menu here, which you get off the middle mouse button. I have a handful of tools that I use for just about everything. And this is most of, the, most of what Rhino looks like when I'm modeling. Um, hotkeys are set up in the, um, 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 in the preferences. You can set them up here under aliases. Or in the settings, I believe. Marlon, help me out here. Where's the 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 in the default hotkeys? Where are they hiding? Um, they're in in the uh, rhinoceros, and then commands. I believe is what you're looking for. Ah. Commands customized. So this is where the original yeah, hotkeys are set up. Yeah. So the the one you were the what you're pointing to in aliases are those are things that you type as a as a short shortcut as a shortcut for a command. The keyboard okay. shortcuts are like command something or control yeah, yeah, something yeah. and that kind of thing. Okay. I, I don't know if you guys can hear Marlon um, uh, through GoToMeeting or not, but the 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 what he was pointing out is aliases, which are, um, which are here. Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's in, it's in uh, preferences because it's, it's sorry. Rhino. It's for every. Um, Rhino preferences. Aliases are here, and these are hotkeys, key combinations that you set up for things that you type here. Okay? Um, the the uh, commands, this stuff here, these are the default command keys that are set up in Rhino when you get it. So if we go keyboard shortcuts, you'll see that this is a list of all of the hotkeys that are <clears throat> that are already installed. Okay, so typically when I refer to hotkeys, this is what I'm referring to, which is the which is the the aliases, which is this stuff over here. here. Okay. Yeah, great to see see that uh, Kyle. Okay. Thanks. Uh, thanks Marlon sure. for jumping in. Why don't we uh, see if there are any questions about the modeling? And then I have a few slides to follow up with, with just basic details about Rhinoceros for Mac. Uh, so Chris uh, was asking about, how about the stop for the opening? Oh, for up here? For the, to, just so the bottle doesn't dump out? Yeah, maybe, I know um, the... We do the exact same, yeah, the exact same way. We just draw a curve and revolve it. I know the uh, water bottle I have kind of comes up and comes down, so that would take a little bit, a uh, little bit more design work to uh, to model that. Yeah. Maybe that's water bottle two. 
Um, well, essentially, essentially, it would just be a matter of drawing a curve, right? That that makes that shape, and then you'd need to boolean out some little channels in there so that when you pulled it up, those little channels were exposed, and when you pushed it down, those little channels were closed up, right? So gotcha. it would just be a matter of mm -hmm. doing some drawing, essentially like this, just backwards. You'd be doing a revolve, and then you would boolean stuff out of it to make channels instead of booleaning stuff into it to make knurlies. So I thought that's homework for today. Uh, there you go. Let's see. If you want to raise your hand, we can unmute your mic. Uh, Lisa has a question. She says, a total new newbie, uh, how do you place the initial water bottle image? Maybe that went by a little too fast. Um, so do you want to show picture frame again, sure Kyle? Can. Thanks. Yeah, let's do that. Do that? Okay. So <clears throat> we used, if I run my layer over here, you see that I've got this image, right? So let's let's unlock it and let's get rid of it. All right. So now I want my image back. I'm going to run picture frame. I just spell it right. Picture frame. And I'm going to go find my image, which in this case I have pre-prepared. I'm going to open it. I'm just going to click drag with the shift key place it in the scene, and in this case now I can just drag it around, scale it, helps if I spell it right, <laughs> scale, <laughs> details, scale details, 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 so that's where yeah, the hotkeys or the aliases are useful, right, 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 and then I'm just going to scale it to the appropriate size, great, I'm going to assign it to an image by saying move object to layer, and then I'm going to dim it by picking the object, going to the material, and upping the transparency. Then I will lock this layer so that I can't pick it. Okay? Okay. What else you got for me? Wonderful. The only, the only other uh, command that went by really fast was set point when you were using that to set oh. control points? Actually, it wasn't set point. I was using the gumball. So, so let's, let's do that. Oh, okay. So let's, make, let's make a curve that has a bunch of points on it, right? So we're going to turn on points, which is over here. Mm -hmm. Turn the points on, turn the points off. And let's say I want to line these guys up. Well, I could draw a line and snap those to the line or do anything like that or run set point, but it's even faster if I just pick these. Gumball pops up, right, if it's turned on. If it's not turned on, then you turn it on up there. If I just double click this scale icon and hit zero, boop, lines right up. Perfect. Let's say we want to line mm -hmm. all of these up. Double click, zero, boop. Super useful. Great, great. Okay, well, thanks for the clarification uh, on that. Sure.